China has just unveiled a weapon that could change everything. The BRE-10 long-range rocket. With a 500-kilometer range, pinpoint accuracy within 10 meters, and advanced glide technology, this rocket can strike military bases, command centers, and runways with devastating precision. It's not just powerful, it's fast, cost-effective, and nearly impossible to intercept. This isn't just about a new missile, it's about China rewriting the rules of modern warfare. What makes the BRE-10 so dangerous? And how will world powers respond? Let's dive in. The BRE-10 embodies a fusion of advanced engineering and innovative design, setting new standards in rocket technology. One of its standout features is the dual-cone aerodynamic design, meticulously crafted to minimize air resistance and enhance glide efficiency. This design enables the rocket to achieve an extended range, surpassing 500 kilometers, a significant improvement over its predecessors. The launch sequence is a testament to modern engineering. The rocket's engine provides the initial thrust, and upon reaching optimal altitude and velocity, it detaches. Subsequently, the rocket transitions into a glide phase, utilizing aerodynamic forces to navigate towards its target. This glide capability not only conserves fuel, but also complicates interception efforts by adversaries, as the rocket's trajectory becomes less predictable. Precision is a hallmark of the BRE-10. It integrates a composite guidance system that synergizes inertial guidance with China's Beidou Satellite Navigation Network. This combination facilitates real-time trajectory adjustments during flight, ensuring a circular error probability within 10 meters. Such accuracy is crucial in modern combat scenarios, allowing for the neutralization of specific targets while minimizing collateral damage. This precision places the BRE-10 on par with, or even surpassing, some of the most advanced missile systems globally. Moreover, the BRE-10 is designed for integration with the PHL-191 Modular Rocket Launcher System. This platform can accommodate different calibers of rockets, including the 300mm BRE-3 and the 370mm BRE-6, alongside the 750mm BRE-10. The PHL-191's capability to carry two launch boxes allows for a mixed loadout, enabling strategic flexibility during missions. For instance, a single launcher can deploy up to 16 BRE-3 rockets, 10 BRE-6 rockets, or two BRE-10 rockets, depending on mission requirements. In terms of specifications, the BRE-10 boasts a launch weight ranging between 1.5 to 2.5 tons and a diameter of 750 millimeters. It is equipped with a warhead weighing between 500 to 800 kilograms, providing substantial destructive potential. The introduction of the BRE-10 into China's military arsenal carries profound strategic implications particularly concerning regional security dynamics and power projections. Positioned on the Shandong Peninsula, the BRE-10's extensive range encompasses critical regions, notably Taiwan. This capability allows China to target key military installations across Taiwan without repositioning its launch platforms. The precision of the BRE-10 means that strategic assets, such as command centers, air bases, and missile defense systems, could be effectively neutralized in initial strike waves. This capacity serves as a potent deterrent against moves toward Taiwanese independence and complicates potential intervention strategies by external powers. Beyond Taiwan, the BRE-10's reach extends to U.S. military bases in East Asia, including those in South Korea and Japan. For instance, the Jiangi base in South Korea falls within its operational range posing a direct threat to U.S. military infrastructure in the region. This necessitates a re-evaluation of base defenses and could influence the strategic posture of U.S. forces stationed in these areas. The ability to target such installations underscores China's growing capability to project power and challenge existing military balances. The deployment of the BRE-10 also signifies a shift in regional power dynamics. It showcases China's advancements in military technology and its commitment to modernizing its armed forces. This progression challenges existing power structures, compelling neighboring countries and global powers to reassess their defense strategies and diplomatic engagements in the Asia-Pacific region. 
The BRE-10's capabilities may prompt an arms race, as neighboring nations seek to develop or acquire comparable systems to counterbalance China's growing military prowess. Furthermore, the cost-effectiveness of the BRE-10 cannot be overlooked. With an estimated cost of $400,000 per unit, it presents a more economical option compared to other missile systems. This affordability allows for mass production and deployment, enabling saturation strike tactics that can overwhelm enemy defenses. The unveiling of the BRE-10 long-range rocket has sent shockwaves across the global military landscape, prompting urgent reassessments of defense strategies, particularly among the United States and its allies in the Pacific. Its combination of range, accuracy, and low cost raises serious concerns for existing security frameworks, especially for Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea, which all fall within its strike radius. For Taiwan, the BRE-10 introduces a new level of threat. Unlike previous missile systems that required China to move launchers closer to the coastline, the BRE-10's 500-kilometer range allows it to strike the entire island from well within mainland China. Taiwan's defensive strategy has relied heavily on mobile missile launchers and anti-missile systems. But with the BRE-10's ability to target underground bunkers, command centers, and runways with pinpoint accuracy, these defenses may prove inadequate. The possibility of a saturation attack, where dozens of BRE-10 rockets overwhelm Taiwan's air defenses in a single strike, forces military planners to rethink how to maintain deterrence against a more sophisticated Chinese arsenal. Japan faces similar concerns, particularly regarding U.S. military bases in Okinawa, which could be targeted by the BRE-10 in a regional conflict. Japan has long relied on the Aegis missile defense system, but the glide technology of the BRE-10 makes interception more challenging. The Japanese government has announced plans to develop counter-strike capabilities, including acquiring long-range precision weapons to neutralize missile threats before launch. This marks a significant shift in Japan's traditionally defensive military posture. For the United States, the BRE-10 is more than just a tactical weapon. It's a strategic disruptor. Its cost-effectiveness compared to Western missile systems means that China can deploy and fire multiple rockets for the price of a single U.S. HIMARS missile. This forces the U.S. to either increase spending on missile defense or develop new interception technologies to keep pace. The BRE-10 long-range rocket is more than just another missile. It represents a fundamental shift in modern warfare. With its unparalleled precision, extended range, and cost-effective deployment, it challenges traditional defense doctrines and forces nations to rethink their military strategies. For Taiwan, it signals an urgent need to upgrade its defenses. For the U.S., it underscores the growing difficulty of maintaining deterrence in the Indo-Pacific. And for China, it cements its position as a leading force in next-generation military technology. While the world watches closely, one thing is clear. The rules of modern warfare are being rewritten, and the BRE-10 is at the forefront of that transformation. Whether this leads to stability through deterrence or an accelerated arms race, only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The era of cost-effective precision warfare has arrived, and it's here to stay. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.